is T-Mac from www.wildfortheoutdoors.com and I'm here today to kind of show you how I shoot instinctive. Uh, instinctive is a really, really personal way of shooting. Uh, I've had people ask me this and that and how do you do this and uh, what arrow do I need to use and, you know, of course you want to keep your arrow and bow ratio pretty close. You know, the harder bow you shoot, you know, you want a stiffer arrow, but it's really really personal whatever you find that works for you you know try different stuff and you know that's what you're going to go with and the first tip I was given when I started shooting traditional or actually when I started shooting archery period was just point your finger at the target while you got your bow in your hand point your finger and that'll get you pretty close uh, I always start at 10 yards and work my way back and that's how you should start if that's too far, get a little closer. Get you a big target. The first thing I do when I set up is I get my bow out there and I make sure my arrow is in line with my target. This is my target. I want my arrow in line vertically with that target where I want it to hit. And I keep it there the entire time. All right, you push and pull to get to here point your finger and then in my way I shoot I'm a gap shooter some people shoot to the bring it to their eye and look down the arrow and they find you know that's how they do it I don't I anchor at my corner of my mouth so when I push pull point there's a gap between the tip of the arrow and the kill zone it's called gap shooting and my mind takes a picture of that every time when I make a good shot. Push, pull, point, gap, release. You know, and it all happens that quick. As you learn to do that and as you progress in that, you uh, you know get to know your bow and it'll come to you that you won't even have to use that gap. Okay? Cuz when you first start out, about 50% of your vision is downrange and about 50% on your arrow you know you're getting everything lined up but then as you go you start paying attention less to that arrow where it's at it's like you know your your mind's a wonderful creation it, it God knew what he was doing when he made it so it'll remember muscle memory will also help and as you get better and as you practice when that buck comes by or that doe or that whatever it is you're shooting you will pick a spot on her and nothing else will matter in this world but that spot and block everything else out and just let go and your mind will do it automatically uh, I can't explain that part of it that's just how it happens for me I hope it happens for you like that And aim small miss small and pick a spot right there that's half the battle you know it's like kind of like keeping your eye on the ball keep your eye on that spot when that deer comes by, you find that spot. I don't care if it's a hair out of place right where you want to shoot. Draw, let yourself go, and you'll make the shot after you've practiced, practiced, practiced. All right, so you can see I am very close to this target here. And you really want to use a real large target like I've got here so that you don't miss because what you're going to be doing is knocking up an arrow and you're going to work on your anchor point the anchor point is the key thing in any shooting be it compound, recurve, longbow, whatever sights, no sights, you got to have a good anchor point this drill is going to work on your anchor point you're going to sit here as close as you can to the target and just draw back and shoot coming back to the same place every time. For me, my anchor point's the corner of my, eye, my mouth. Like I said, others, it could be your eye, your nose, you know, just wherever your anchor point is going to be, that's what you're working on. Close your eyes, draw back, hit the spot, and let go. And that's it. Over and over, working on getting back to the same spot every time. You're not worried about where you're hitting, you're just worried about finding that anchor point over and over practice that until you draw back to that same spot every time 
consistency will make you a better shot. Another thing that will help you is when the time comes that you're getting pretty good, get you a 3D target. Those are proportioned to does and bucks and it really plays in your mind that, you know, okay, if I miss, I'm going to be looking for an arrow. If you're in town, put a big backing behind it too. But I'm in an elevated position on my back porch and I've got my 3D target down there, you know, treat this like you're out in the woods. I even got a tree limb here bugging me. Can't cut it down. My wife loves this tree. But get out here and practice just like you were hunting. Another good form of practice is getting outside and stump shooting. I know that may sound crazy, but take you a couple junk arrows, put you some judo points on there or something, and um, just a bill point with the washer behind it, and go out in the woods and you know see what you can do. Find you a nice rotted stump and shoot an arrow into it. Yeah, you might break an arrow or lose a knock, but it's real world practice that puts you in some situations that you might run into out in the woods. Shooting through brush, how much brush can you, you know, how good a shot can you make out in the woods. And plus you don't know the distances, you don't know the yardages. It could be 10, 15, 20, you got to learn how to, you know, get that yardage. The great thing about instinctive is your brain takes over and a lot of times yardage don't even matter. Once you get good enough and you've practiced long enough, yardage don't matter. You can just, you'll see that spot, let the brain, let it go, and it'll make it happen. But I love to go out and stump shoot every now and then. Uh, as hot as it's been, I ain't got out and done any, and now it's getting pretty close to season. But get out there, see what you can, you know, see what kind of shots you can make. Like I always say, it's your God-given duty to manage this land, but it's your duty as a sportsman to make good, clean, killing shots. If you ain't got 100% confidence in your weapon, you don't need to be out there with it. You know, it takes time, it takes practice, but it'll come to you. Shooting instinctive can be very efficient killing weapon, okay? I've proven that to myself. No. All you got to do is have confidence that you can make the shots and don't go out there and make shots that you can't make. Okay, Know your limits. As a sportsman, we are out there to harvest game and I mean there ain't nothing worse than being out there and losing your animal. There ain't nothing worse feeling inside and there ain't nothing worse people watching everything we do. I mean that just gives them ammo. So don't do it. If you don't have confidence in your bow, gun, muzzle loader, whatever it is, don't go out there with it. It's your duty to kill these animals cleanly and quickly. Until next time, I hope this video helped you in some way. Aim small, you miss small. Till next time, God bless.